What's going on, real estate Trey? And it's Tasha. Man to the real, where we always keep it real. Young Justice, season four, episode 11. 11. Yeah. Get ready. That's what I don't, I'm not finna do all that. <laughs> but, um, uh, I don't think I'm gonna do 10. We did it, because that's the one with, uh, when Zatanna was like, we're gonna need more help. That's when Claren and the little girl got the fighting out there. Okay. Yeah. This is like her third episode, so yeah. Okay. When are we gonna see Rocket this episode? I hope not. Give her her own stuff just like everybody else. Well, they just saying like, well, they ain't really give everybody else their own shit because some people just been popping up <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying, Calder and Nightwing. I was, you know what I'm saying, just to let her know that old boy did. But I'm saying they ain't have their own thing they just popped up for that. That's probably the back half. Unlike the Chaos Lords, the Lords of Order rarely descended to Earth. Instead, they would empower a human being to act as their agent. The theory was that a mortal's earthly ties would allow for a greater understanding of the problems that Chaos created among humankind. Though perhaps in truth, the Lords of Order simply hesitated to dirty their hands on our chaotic world, and Aryan's resulting death forced Order to reassess. Thus, they took a moment to observe the architect of all this chaos. Varl Shot, soon to be known as Marduk. Yep, this is what we left off when they fucked this island up. We are so moated. <sighs> Fixing this would take a lot more than bending a branch back into shape. <clears throat> Tag Aramak Yetier. You know who I'm going to see. So you and Blood should go on a recruiting tour too. We're gonna need all the help we can get. Huh. That spell usually takes me to the stairs. I wonder why we wound up here. And Inza? Oh, that's why. And where is here exactly? <gasps> Whoa. Nice entrance. Daughter of Zatara, you we would invoke our Ankh and invade our tower. Take these children and get out. 7,586 years after the fall of Atlantis, Damn. Shit. came the rise of Babylonia. Oh, when okay. ruling this new this kingdom thing. came with its own challenges. All the great civilizations, you know, things he did. With his Babylonian generals and their pernicious independence of mind. Guess who? The Chaos Lord Clarion arrived without invitation, but with an mm. offer of help. Marduk's son Nabu argued fiercely against giving the witch boy free reign. Yes. She, she calls, calls herself, herself child. child. Do, Do not waste time telling fate, fate what is already known. Then fate knows we need his help. We, we are, are not inclined to intervene. Sure. I know exactly what you're thinking. We, we doubt that. I do, because I had the exact same thought. Two Chaos Lords at each other's throats sounded like a win. Right up until their conflict sank half of Roanoke Island. We can't wait for the final outcome. We have to stop the fight itself. Wow. Not these tests. Observe. Bruh, I'm sick. This is what I be talking about. <laughs> sick. Great. Now I guess I'm supposed to prove myself. You don't want to help nobody. But be quick to snatch a body. You don't have to prove anything to me, Trace. Who are you? I'm your boyfriend. You're a puppet. I'm your puppet boyfriend. And I'm oh. your puppet mentor. <laughs> And I'm your puppet idol. Stop it! It's not gonna work. Come out here and face me. Is it fate? Is Nabu pulling your strings? We're hand puppets. We have no strings. Besides, there's no one back there. You're afraid to face the ugly truth. I'm not afraid to face ugly you! What the hell? Funny you should mention hell. Here's your ugly truth, Tracy. You're a fraud. You don't belong here. You're not ready for this fight. It was his fate to die. Mm. 
fighting the enemy his father had unintentionally raised. And his death, under these circumstances, left the Lords of Order intrigued. Of course. Your methods are magic. <sighs> I thought you were Muslim. Mom? I... I am Muslim. You're not behaving like one, Khalid. You should rely on God alone. I gave up magic when I converted to Islam. Look, magic is a tool I'm using to do good. I mean, that's what our faith is all about. If you were a good Muslim, you would listen to your mother. Oh my that's, God, that's I fair. hate when people do that. You're using religion to bully me into doing what you want. Exactly! It's a better life for you, a safer life. He's following in the footsteps of your uncle, Jane. I know, but... Your father and I didn't work hard our whole lives to put you through medical school. I know, but... Only to have you run off. You cannot abandon your true Drowning. Body. I know, but... Admit the truth. We are drowning in your doubts. Killing us both, because you're not ready for this fight. <laughs> it is on, Nabu. Say it! I want you to say it! No. No, we, we don't say that anymore. We can't. Help! Say it and save me! See it up on your aim! Not that way! I'm not trying to make her say she's a man. That's too nice. You don't have what it takes. Stamina of Atlas. I wonder why she can't say it. No, it's not that she can't. But she said she promised. She promised not to say it. But it so that means she can. Stop dabbling in huh? That means she can't. If she promised, she would. That's what I'm saying. Why would you promise that she wouldn't say it? Maybe something happened. Maybe something happened to Billy. And without enough imagination to become something new, without me. You're not ready for this fight. So the Lords of Order recruited Nabu's soul, now free of the limitations of his fragile mortal form. Elevating it to a higher calling, they gave purpose to his once pointless death and revealed the dangers resulting from the chaos of the Clarion Marduk Alliance. Gaining an oath of Nabu's fealty to order, the Lords forged something new. Not simply an agent of order on Earth, but a Lord of Order. Such hosts were not always easy to come by. Yet Nabu became the Lord of Order, known as Dr. Fate, who has for centuries defended this world from chaos. Has he? Or has it just been the people putting on the helmet that want to do that? Bad luck magic? You're as likely to curse friends as enemies. I am not a quitter. I didn't have to join the outsiders. I'm already on the team. Mm. Yes, I'm afraid. But I get up anyway. And I'm brave enough to ask for help. I work. I train. I make myself better, and I don't fear failure or let it stop me. Well, not for long, anyway. Okay. Mm. I am a man of faith, science, and mysticism. A Muslim and homo magi. I am a first generation American on my father's side and descended from Mayflower pilgrims on my mother's. I will forge a new way forward on a path built by those before me. I can and will be both a doctor and a sorcerer. Mm -hmm. okay. I am ready. Oh, look at me. I'm beautiful. I'm powerful. I am better and stronger than anyone and anything. Oh, Why wouldn't you want this? No. No, not you. Forgot why you gave it up, huh? Oh. 
forgot how you traded everything for the power. Quit it. Quit this her. Is a big Cold turkey. Or else you'd never give her up. Mm. No. No. No, you need me. You are nothing without me. Billy was right. I had to stop. Mm. But that doesn't mean I have to stop being a hero. So she would just like. I can use my connection to you to become a sorceress. <clears throat> to be just as important and powerful as you ever were. Without abandoning who I am. Perhaps they are ready. Still, fate has neither need nor use for them or you. As we have no intention of intervening. So long as chaos fights chaos. That's so stupid. It ain't about them, it's about the collateral damage. Like, why are you even here on Earth if you don't give a fuck? <laughs> Take your ass back home. Yet every host, every person, finds their strength in their own way. Look at these three children whom you tested this day. Finding strength through mentors, family, and faith. Honestly, do you think I would have survived these ten years as your host and prisoner without my faith? In a higher power. Okay. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Amen. Amen. And the victories you so proudly cite, would they have come without allies such as the League or the Lords of Order themselves? You read him. Operations as chaos. But it is only in the combined strengths of all these individuals, in the, in the unity of the disparate, I can. that order may truly rise out of chaos. You must know this on some level. Mm. Or why else would you have allowed Kent Nelson to push you into joining the Justice Society? We about to get some character development after a millennia. What more can I say to convince you? Oh, hello. This man outside reading the doorbell for what? Oh! Oh! Damn, they killed this guy! Damn! Shit! Now look at how they look, you see? Now it's like, oh shit. <laughs> see? Who? You're on a magic school bus. Where is they going though? They look like they're going through different dimensions. Like what is even happening? But they're on an acid trip. <laughs> Kids Bruh. gonna be fucked. Now they in somebody's body. They look like DNA and blood cells. Remember that episode when they was in somebody's body on Magic School Bus? They were. I know that. Because <laughs> they always got that mean girl. That's a booty hole. <laughs> <laughs> oh, please. Okay, now we need space. Really? They, they kind of petty for that ending, but... Wow. Somebody finally... They finally reading Nabu after all this time. Ho, cause they ain't Dr. Fate. We're gonna finally get character development when they worry about the fucking <laughs> get body. That bitch. Y'all yeah. gonna wish y'all would have kept Clary here instead of this other hoe. She She got him. rid of him, so she finna do all this herself. Snapped him in half, like no fucking problem. All this arguing about chaos versus chaos. She got rid of him quick. Now what? <laughs> Why you out here arguing? So I guess we'll see what happens next. Like sometimes like Sometimes it's better to keep the evil you know than the evil you don't. Like, and like he, like the shit that she about to do. Like, look how easily she took him out. She don't care about nothing, bro. Like, y'all seen what she did to that security guard just to see how we tick when that motherfucker was like body just <laughs> everything on display. That man ain't making it home for the holidays. Like, you ain't even just shot or stabbed. Like, you just dissected probably while alive. Like, the fuck. But we'll see what they do next. Next episode is 12. I don't know if they taking a break at some point or they just going straight through. I don't know. But we'll see. Well, thank y'all for the support. And as always, full reactions on Patreon. It's Trey. And it's Tasha. Real.
You already watched, so you might as well subscribe, please.